Um, I also want to acknowledge that I'm making this introduction on the traditional and unceded territories of the uh, Coast Salish, and in particular the Musqueam peoples. Um, we've heard so much tonight already, and uh, believe it or not, there's a lot more to say about Mary Ellen Trapel Lafon. Um, we all uh, recognize your deeply passionate commitment and courageous leadership um, in, in the promotion and protection of the rights of children and youth. And Van City is deeply honored to be the presenting sponsor at uh, this evening's gala. Um, and for the opportunity to recognize your profound commitment over the years. Before I ask Mary Ellen to come up, I, I want to say a few words about why Van City is here tonight. Um, Van City, as you know, is a community credit union, and uh, we were founded on the principles of social justice and financial inclusion. Uh, we're very proud of our 70 years of working in collaboration with community partners and members to create healthy, healthier, stronger, and uh, more inclusive communities. Um, you may know that we were the first financial institution to eliminate the need for women to um, have a male co-signer on their, male on their um, loan applications, for instance. Um, you, you know about some of the work that we're doing uh, with, with uh, the Living Wage for Families campaign. We're also a proud signatory to and supporter of the BC Poverty Reduction Coalition strategy that's working to eliminate uh, poverty in the province. Um, <laughs> Im importantly, we believe very much in the mobilizing education, public policy advocacy work of, um, of First Call, and we believe that it's fundamental to creating healthier communities. Um, and we are very, very proud and pleased to be a core supporter and uh, to offer a home um, with the Community Foundation. So we know that First Call's efforts uh, in articulating the needs for a rights-based um, protection of children and youth is critically important in creating healthier communities. Just as Mary Ellen, Mary Ellen's tenacious and spirited and principled um, leadership in this area is, and, and that's why we are so honored to, um, to be here tonight. Uh, about three years ago, my 16-year-old daughter bounded through the front door and said, Mom, I know what I want to be when I grow up. And she said, I want to be Mary Ellen Terpelophon. <laughs> no lie. No lie. And I, I, was, I was very proud. Made my heart sing. Um, and, and so here's why. Mary Ellen, as most of you know, is a member of the Muskeg Lake Creek, Cree Nation in Saskatchewan. Um, in, 2000, in 2006, she came to her appointment as the representative with a, a, a long list of remarkable achievements. Um, she'd already earned four degrees, uh, including a master's in law from Cambridge University and a doctorate of law it from Harvard University. She's an avid learner and she went on to uh, include a diploma in international human rights law from the University of Strasbourg. Um, and then she was subsequently awarded two honorary degrees one from the uh, honorary law degrees, one from the University of Sus uh, Regina, and most recently from SFU. Um, somebody mentioned already that over 20 years ago, Time Magazine recognized Mary Ellen as one of the 100 global leaders um, of tomorrow. And then a few years later, um, she was recognized as one of the top 20 Canadian um, leaders for the 21st century. Um, and, and I think we'd all agree that her accomplishments before and since that time are really a testament to the accuracy of that recognition. Um, Mary Ellen has also worked as a lawyer and a law professor, including at Dalhousie University, where she became the first Indigenous person to receive tenure at a Canadian law school. She achieved an, another first in 1998 
um, when she was appointed as a provincial court judge in Saskatchewan. At reference, in referencing the language of the time, she became the first treaty Indian um, to have that role. Um, as all of us know, uh, throughout that time, throughout her career, Mary Ellen has championed the voice and rights of children and youth within the justice system, in child welfare uh, systems, and in our communities. Um, she's been a bold, a bold, bold advocate um, on behalf of children and youth experiencing deep poverty, marginalization, exploitation, systemic neglect. For Indigenous children and youth in particular, uh, Mary Ellen has been persistent in calling attention not only to the ways uh, we have failed so many, but also, and importantly, to the, to the ways in which we can and must do better. Um, she's held governments to account. She's held us all to account. Um, she makes us all, including my daughter, uh, want to be better, think harder, own up, do more, and move forward. So, um, and, and as you know, Mary Ellen has done all of this while doing the hardest job of all, I think, raising four children. Um, so I hope you will join me tonight in offering the warmest, warmest welcome to Mary Ellen Chappelle-Lafon.